all right we're back today we're going to be doing 50 gallon electric water heater installation and straightening out some of this mess they have here there was a three-quarter feed that went up over around and back in you can still see i mean it was crooked hanging sideways so we could get rid of that eyesore permanently and i'll build a manifold here straight across and you know the rest of its feed so I, I can't clean that up you know but you know one inch trunks and I'm a, the water heater was over there and I I'd assume it was here and then they moved it over there but I'm gonna move it back here I tested this 220 and it's hot so it works and then you know I just have my supply lines straight out you know you can see that valve's cooked the seals busted in it that's unsweat that clean this up direct connect straight in and they can use this part of the room and then the rest of it down the road i'll finish it or whatever this must have been a cooler line for evaporative cooling or an ice maker but they use the saddle t and tap t's i hate them things so I'm going to cut this and since this copper is pierced I'm going to clean it. You can see I mean you know it's smoked so you know to save another trip down the road because this thing's it's inevitable it's going to leak and flood the house. I'm cutting it out and I'm going to coupling and just make a spot repair right here for for now and then you know th this stuff's just going to be as is because you know the last guy was just a hack so okay draw the hole to daylight so i'm gonna take my tmp drain straight outside so Thank <laughs> you. 
PVC coming under the slab. See that? Two inch PVC under the slab. That's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> So that's all gone and the loop must have been a RO system or you know maybe if they had a filter mounted there I don't know it was just flex connector and you know looped off so whatever. And then I'm just going to go straight across. Build them. Just build a manifold like that. That's probably the best thing I can do. What are you doing? Investigating. You're the inspector.
Okay, well that's cooling down. I took that saddle off. See how it just drills a hole in it? If I can clean it and it looks okay, I'll just cut it right there. If I got mobility, drain the water out and solder it. That's a perfect world, you know. Sometimes, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Let's see where Murphy's at today. I'm just gonna do that unit strut. You watch them spider webs, man. You start soldering near those, boy, they go up. Lingus slippers. Oh, I brought one just along for the ride, just in case, too. I got gloves right here. I like dirty hands, I guess. I don't know. Forrest Gump moment. Ah, oh. man, this head cold is killing me. Sorry about the sniffles there, boys and girls. But happens to the best of us, I guess. Should be home in bed. Watch a TV. Watch a Judge Judy. Eating soup. Drinking fluids. But no. I could be sick at work. This is one less stop. Three quarter coupling. Nope. What the hell did I do? I thought I brought one. See that? It isn't less stop. I'm less paying attention. Now I see a stop. Alright. 
right, this one's a three quarter inch less stop. There's no stopping this one, it's a repair coupling, it's a slip. Let me see. Put it on the one side, push them together, and voila. Okay, I gotta go deal with my snot behind back. The water heater in place. Blew my nose. Here we go. Chair, make sure they don't hit. Paper goes up, boy. You are done for. Look at that. Let's get a little brown right there. Notice I got the torch down on this side. That's why. Just be slow. Just come in out of nowhere. We 
got a storm. Okay, we'll cut through this. One more pass. All right. So, by code, here in Arizona, this has to drain by gravity to daylight. So, you got to solder, you know, 90 because it has to point downward. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Shit, I forgot a fitting brush. Let's use my own. I always like to put a scotch in too. I like the scotch ins. Let me flare it out a little. Oh, this damn cold. How you get sick in the desert? That's how we got y'all gotta be hard pipe. Hard pipe fall by gravity to daylight. That's the code out here for that. I got electrician. It's pressurized. Hold on. Let me set this down. Alright. I got electrician on the way. I'm gonna connect the ground in this just with wing nuts, wire nuts. Boom, 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 boom. And he's coming to. We got two, two 20s here. And we don't know which one was which one. The existing water heater that they removed before I got here was off of this line. It's a 220. So. We got a sparky on the way to fit. I don't know if that was a furnace run or who knows. This place is such a disaster. So now I'm going to reconnect this one because it's got that insulation, you know. Um, That was the manifold that I fabricated earlier in the video. I mean, that thing ran and it was all discaboomulated crooked and I mean you can see this is a mess so it's it's a lot tighter and cleaner now